Today, we are drafting on NHL 24. But here's the kicker. I'm not going to be able to see any pick that I make. I'm Dirty Dan. I quickly went into a draft before this just to be sure that I knew how to get to goalies and defensemen because otherwise that would be a complete nightmare. And obviously I can look after each pick. I just can't look once I actually go into the screen to take a player. So on that note, let's find out which team we are going to be drafting for. It is the St. Louis Blues. Definitely not a team I feel like we get like ever. I also just clued in that I'm not playing be a pro so I don't really have to listen to the audio. NHL heaters playlist coming up immediately. No owner, no jabroni. Fog of War also is a no thank you from me. We'll turn player morale off and fantasy draft will of course be enabled. Let's get her started here. It doesn't really matter what draft pick I get because I won't be able to see who I'm taking anyway. <laughs> what do we get though? Well, I do know who we're getting. They better be at the, yeah, he's definitely gonna be at the top. I think he's the only player that's like 97 overall, or is it 96? I think he's 97, so we guaranteed McDavid. This one's gonna be real tough. Here we go, see you later, and make selection. Give it a second to sort of realize what it's doing. And I believe I just have to go up, yes. Did I do it? I did. All right, McDavid has been drafted. Cool. And we get back-to-back -back picks. I wonder if I could pull this off without looking in between. Let's give it a shot. Here we go. This could actually be very good that we're pick number one. All right, so make the first selection here. Should I just take whoever's at the top? I feel like it's going to be someone we're late second round. Malkin might still be around. Ovi might even still be around. You know what? I'm going to risk it for the biscuit and say that there's a winger as the top player here, hoping for the best, and let it load, hopefully. Go in again. Let's take a goalie. I really have no idea what I'm doing. Like, this is brutal. Just take the top goalie, I guess. Assuming I'm even on that screen. How'd I do? Oh, let's go! Really like the way this team is looking already. Marchie and McDavid. That's gross. And here we go again. Should I try to take a defenseman or should I just go for anybody now? Because I know how to get to the defensive section. Also, if I go over the salary cap, there's not really much I can do about that. So I'll just go down a few here and we'll draft whoever this is. Confirm selection. That is absolutely who I wanted, whoever you are. And let's go in again. Um, you know what? Yeah, let's take a defenseman. That should be okay. And here... We'll take the top one, confirm. Let's see how I did that time. Toffoli and Latang. I swear I can't see. There would be no fun in that for me. I don't care if we have the worst team in the league. I just want to see what team we put together. That's sort of the main thing. If we do well, then that's just a bonus. I can't believe I haven't thought of this idea before though. This is great. I'm having a great time right now until we have a selection that maybe wasn't ideal, but I don't know. I'm not really paying attention to cap because we can't. Here we go. Pull down the toque again. And let's see. You know what? I got a crazy one for you. I'm just going to hold down and stop. Take this player right here. Assuming we're even, like, I'm guessing the entire time. I don't even know if we got into the select player screen. I'm assuming we did because I hit the X button on the PlayStation 5 controller. Uh, no, I don't want to take a backup goalie yet, so... We won't do that. Let's go down two and make selection. Turbo and Eberly, that's pretty good. I'm gonna grab two defensemen this time. That is my goal, so should be easy enough. Maybe I'll grab a goalie by accident, but I'm taking extra time to let the menus kind of load. So we'll just take whoever's at the top here, confirm selection. And we'll go again, give it a minute, and go to defensemen all over again. This time, though, I'm going to go down a couple. It worked out decently for us last time. Confirm selection. Essa Lindell and... Wait. Jeff Petrie. I'm down. I don't know their handedness. I feel like... For some reason, I always thought Petrie was right-handed, but I think he's left. But now I could be totally messing that up. Let's get wacky here. I got an idea. I'm going to go into the player selection screen, and I really doubt I'm going to be able to get over to physicality. But I'm going to try my best. Uh, no, I don't even have a good guess. Sort by this category, 
and take whoever's at the top. That could have been a horrible idea, but maybe it worked out. And we will go in again. I'm just gonna take who's at the top. Confirm. How do we do? We got Hag and Perron. Yes, we do need centers. So I'm just trying to think here. It goes all skaters. If defense and goalies are at the bottom, then it's probably gonna go forwards and then center. So I gotta try to go down too. Let's do it. Give me a centerman right now. Go into the selection screen and hopefully I'm right. So this will be all skaters, forwards, centers, and give me the second player. Sounds good. Yeah, it's really convenient that we have back-to-back -back picks because the loading time's faster. I'll take a backup goalie now. Mm -hmm. You. Congrats. What'd I do? Grubauer. Okay. And Evan Rodriguez. Nice. We are without a doubt going over the salary cap. We might already be there. This is the most fun I've had on a draft in a long time. So here we go. Even if my eyes are open, I can't see through this, but it's more comfortable to have them close. So I'm going to do that anyway. I'm going to grab another centerman, I think. So let's go down. I'll just take whoever's at the top this time. And I also... Do we need a fifth defenseman? Yeah, I'll just get it out of the way. So up to... And... Yeah, you would fit our team, whoever you are. Confirm selection. Luke Shen, the Intimidator! And we got Nick back. We are definitely over the cap. I don't know why my voice just gave out there. Like, we are definitely over the cap. <laughs> Once again... Mix in a water, even though it is 7.52 a.m. So forwards would be the second one, and we should probably be cognizant of that now because we do have five defensemen. So this will be our penultimate set of two picks. Go in there, and let's go to forwards. You know what? I'm gonna just scroll. Get a crazy one here. Yeah. Boom! 100% meant to do that. Gonna be great for this squadron. And let's do this again. I'll grab our sixth defenseman, just get it out of the way, and I'll do the same thing. Let's just scroll here, try to get crazy. You! Welcome aboard to the St. Louis Blues! I don't really know who he is, but I'm down. And we got Nemesnikov. Three picks remaining. I'm not sure if it goes center right wing left wing or center left wing right wing. So I might just have to wing it. But I'm definitely going to go out of my way to get a centerman, so... I almost just went in by accident, but good thing I remembered. Um, forwards, center. I think I'm going to go for number two, whoever you are. Yeah, let's do that. And we did draft our sixth defenseman. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. And if I get this one right, then that means the last one is also going to be right, because I'm going to know. But I'll say it goes center, right wing, left wing. So forwards, center, right wing. Lovely. Could be completely wrong. Taking the top guy. Boom. Did I get it right? Nope. <laughs> it was a left winger. I'm sure one of our wingers is left wing slash right wing anyway. We don't really got to worry about it. But it's just nice to hit the numbers correctly. Final selection inbound. This time I should actually get a right winger. So I think our team's going to be really good. Obviously forward center left wing right wing. And let's go for a scroll here. Yeah. There you go. Confirm that selection. We got Colin White. And at this point, sim the entire draft. It doesn't matter. What your name is, Jabroni? I think that went well. Very well. The handedness for our defensemen, I'm not too confident about. But this is our team in a nutshell. Let's go put the lines together and see if we got chemistry. Our first line should be insane. Marchie, McDusty, and Toffoli. We also got Latang as one of our top defenders, so that's going to be huge. The chemistry's got to be there. Come on. Has to be. Yeah. Plus five for the first line. Things you love to see. Hey, Jabroni. Thought I already told you. Get out of here. I do spot an imposter. Logan. You got to go. I'm sorry. Scratched. Oh, Nemesnikov. And they also took out Borgen. No! I'm gonna run with Backstrom on the third line, because if we put Backlund on the second line, it becomes a plus one. So I'm a fan of that. Defensively... Pardon? Okay, Borgen... Wait. I don't remember drafting Tanev. 
Did I draft Tanev? New rule. I'm sending down the two players that they put in and I'm just gonna best lines it and then sort of rearrange. So Kairu, you're gone. Brown, you are also gone. I think that was it. So confirm. Let's go back and try this again. Head coach preferred lines and we're gonna move you up and we are going to move... Oh no, how'd I have this again? Colin White was down here. I think Nemesnikov was over here somewhere. Peron was on the right side. I think Rodriguez was there, and then we had Goudreau. That seems about right. That is terrible. Why do these guys not get along? Okay, well, we can do that at least. That's tempting. At least we'll only have a dash two on the last pair. I think I gotta run with that. We do have normal ice time allocation, but I don't know what else I could do here. Yeah, so about that whole us being good thing, might retract that statement. But I will still say that we get 45 wins, make the playoffs, and McDavid gets the most points with 90... No, you know what? He's gonna get 101. Here we go, Blues. Please don't suck. That is a great way to... I love this team a lot. Oh. Forgot to turn off trade offer notifications. So, no. And... Give me a minute here while I go disable everything. I'm leaving the head coach firing pop-up on because if somebody fires their coach, I'm gonna go look. I feel like our coach is part of the chemistry issue. Let's go! Five games in a row after losing the first two. Look at this! We're unreal! one nothing loss, you hate to see it. 9-2 loss! What are we doing? Second in the division at the moment behind these Smashville Predators, but we are the streakiest team on planet Earth. We win a bunch in a row, and then we lose a bunch in a row. Now we're kind of going back and forth right here, trading, if you will. Back-to-back -back games against the Capitals, and we take them both home. We also beat Calgary, but Vancouver would get the better of us. Back up to second in the division. We were down to fourth for a minute there. 34 wins at the trade deadline. We are, where are we at the moment? Second? Third? And it's close. You know what? 77, 77. The whole division's insanely close, other than the stars in the wild. This is anybody's. I'll keep the trading block because I don't intend on making any moves. I drafted the team I drafted, although I couldn't see who I was drafting. Who is the top player? It is Lindholm. Be a great addition to someone's team. Same with Pelik, Verhage. A lot of great players at this deadline. Too bad, I will be grabbing approximately none of them. Whoa, that's a trade if I've ever seen one. Gavrikov a third, Orbert, and a fourth in exchange for a first and a seventh. That is a trade alert, you are correct. A first and a second headed to Florida in exchange for Tomas Hurdle. Raw, raw. <laughs> Not quite. I went to say Wa or Roy and just mixed them. So that's fun. Just put him in a blender and a fifth round pick. Now that is the highlight of the trade. Definitely not just thrown in there. Another one, a first, a fourth, and that guy for Mackenzie Weger. Threes, no way. If you know, you know. But also I know that I'm saying no to this waiver claim. Can someone just fire their A plus coach already? You know? We're pretty far into the season here. I think it's about time that the teams at the bottom made some rash decisions. No? Fourth? Oh, no. We actually need to win some games here. Nice, nice. That's huge. Big win against Chicago. Oh. Stop, 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 stop. We just beat the team who just fired their coach. The only thing is, is we're doing well, you know? So do I really want to do it? I might. 53% team fit. But if we go to higher coach, we see another A- minus here in McMillan. What's the team fit for you, sir? You have a 54. No, not worth it. Two games remaining, one of them divisional, but the Stars, well, actually it's a pretty big game for them because they're in a wild card spot right now. So let's see if we can crush their hopes and dreams. Shootout loss and a win over the Dallas Stars. Did they make it in? I'm curious now if we just destroyed them or not. Nah. They didn't get in. <laughs> we wound up third in the Central Division with 99 points, just shy of the hundo and a 60 point percentage. The Jets led with 103, Smashville had 100, and it would be the Boston Bruins going on to win the President's Trophy. We'll go look at their lines, don't worry. We'll check them out, see what's going on there. Is it top 16 teams? It is not. Dallas got finessed. I guess it was by the LA Kings. So yeah, that win 
would have got them in. Sorry about your luck there, Dallas. McDavid put up 100 flats, and then we got Marchie with 84, Toffoli with 76, Attaboy Tyler, 58 from Latang Turbo, 57. Jake Ottinger, you absolute machine. 41 wins, six shutouts, and a 924 save percentage. Grubauer, you tried. It would be Corpy Solo with the most wins. 42. And he also had six shutouts. Only a 9.05 though. So Jakey actually played phenomenal, which I already knew that, but just comparing to the other goalies here, like Yorgiev had a 9.20. Give this man a trophy. Kale McCarr was point a game. John Carlson so close. Couldn't quite get there. And then Dougie and Victor tied for third with 77. Robertson and Dreisaitl both got 110. And Matthews and McKinnon both got 104. This is a very offensive season, I feel like. Matthews with 62 tucks, most likely the Rocket Richard winner. Yep. And let's check out the important stats here, such as hits. Who hit the most? Adrian Kempe. Maybe I should start drafting this guy. Felino fought 27 times. That is outrageous. That means on average he fought about every three games. Obviously, he also had the most penalty minutes because it do be like that. But are you ready for playoff time? Because I am. I don't even know who we're facing. I wasn't really paying attention. It is Smashville. We have some business to take care of first. Your President's Trophy winning Boston Bruins. What am I missing here? They have a good team, but... President's Trophy, I don't know about all that. Jesper Bratt, Shifley, and Reinhardt. It is a great first line, but come on now. Nason with O'Reilly and Hall. Bunce, Jenner, and Sammy. Okay. Defensively, that helps. Roman Yossi playing with Pionk. And Stuart Skinner backed up by the nervous guy. This one is interesting. That's Cap. Our first round opponent has Duclair, Sebastian, and Zucker as their first line. I don't know how this team did well either. I'm going to be honest with you. But they did. Defensively, Darlene and Hronik. That's deadly. Done with Murphy. And in net they have... You see what I see. That checks out. Nobody wins in four. Come on, this ain't going to be a sweep. Or will it? That's huge. AHL season ended. That's crazy. Don't care. Pretty good lead. Now bury them. Just like that. Who's going to be our next round victim? Who are we taking down? It is the Winnipeg Jets. They have Ayafalo, Coyle, and Sharon Govich as their third line. That is kind of scary. They also got Blake Wheeler, who just produces. Chandler and Kreider. They do have a good offensive team. Anyway, let's see what they're like defensively. Pretty good. Do they have a good goalie too? Leonard, yeah. All right, this is going to be a tough one. But I do have faith in the lads. So, let's sit in the first four. And see where we're sitting. That's not good. That's really not good. Push another one. Okay. Now push seven. You won't. They sure will. This would be insane, but unfortunately they score on the first shot of the game, but we score on the second shot of the game. Maybe it wasn't their first shot, but pretty close to it. And then Backstrom scores, and then Marchi scores. What is going- Can we settle down? Time out! That was nuts! I don't know what just happened, but it worked out in our favor, so I'm in. Let's go, Blues. Another goal. Jeff Petrie. Gonna bury one. I thought we scored again, but no. Now we did. 5-2. And the shots are 21-10. to 10. What a weird game. Just add to it, Barkley Goudreau. Some depth goal scoring. How have they not pulled Leonard yet? Kreider buries one again. How have we not pulled Jakey yet? Well... Nah, keep him in there. No offense, groups, but your season stats speak for themselves. Here we go. Three goal lead, heading into the third period. I like our chances. I think we're moving on to the conference finals. In fact, you know what? I'm guaranteeing you. I'm giving you the Charles Barkley guarantee that we are moving on to round number three. What a calm third period. After the other two completely chaotic ones. San Jose. What kind of team did you put together? They've got Hurdle, Natchez, and Meyer. That's interesting. So they brought Meyer back, and they also redrafted Hurdle. William Carlson with Niederreiter and DeBrusque. A very solid third and fourth line as well. So this is a deep team. If we go to their defense, they have, wow, Uyghur Petrangelo, Moritz playing with Cam York, and then Suter and our boy Matt Raw. <laughs> and they have Jari. This is just a good team. They're also cap compliant, I would imagine. So we immediately have the advantage in that we paid no attention to it and we're getting dusted by San Jose. But we could have a repeat. You won't. 
Oh, they didn't! But it would be the Ottawa Senators going on to win themselves a Stanley Cup. What a run from Marchie, 23 points, 12 goals in 18 games. McDusty with 20 points, and then Toffoli, 15, Everly, 13. Got a few players with 12. How'd our goalie do? 9-13. That's respectable. Hellebuck had a run and a half. 921 save percentage. How are you doing? The Yeti Brent Burns, 19 points in 25 games played. Shea Theodore, 17 in 19 games. And your Con Smythe. No. No, not your Con Smythe winner. Your Con Smythe winner is Brian Rust. That is insane. Marchi was right up there for points. So he would have been the Con Smythe winner had we you know, won the cup, but we did. Again, I feel like this would be a prime time to give it to a goalie. Connor Hellebuck deserves this. Most likely won't get it. You can't really view the lines once the season is done, unfortunately. So Ottawa finished with 90 points and they had Bertuzzi, Nelson, and Marner. Patty Kane playing with Dubois and Rust. Bennett, Eller, and Bailey. Okay, they had pool party on the fourth line. Hellebuck. Good defensive core as well. Yeah, understandable. It is award time. There you go. Team trophies. Individually, Robertson gets the Art Ross. However, Leon Dreisaitl gets the heart, so we do not see an Art Heart combo in this particular sim. We do, however, see a Norris going to Jan Carlson. Pasta gets himself the Lady Bing. Bedard with the Calder. Marner. Oh, all right, all right. I see you. Jakey O with the Vesna. Love to see it. He also gets the Jennings. You did great, man. Carlo scoops up the Bill Masterton. Sue gets the Jack Adams. Barkov scooping the Selkie as he does. Dreisaitl with the Lindsay and the Rocket Richard, as we saw, goes to 62 goal scoring Austin Matthews, I think it was. Your playoff tree, ladies and gentlemen, in the bottom corner there, we have the Bruins and the Tampa Bay Lightning, and the Bruins beat them in seven. Maybe I'll remember to move my face cam again. Maybe I won't. I mean, I'll probably be listening to this while editing, so I'll most likely will remember now, but maybe I won't just for fun. Thank you for watching. Appreciate you guys. Hopefully you found that one fun. I had a lot of fun with that one, truthfully. So so thank you for the suggestion. You guys are killing it with those and it's appreciated. On that note, just smash the like button. Absolutely delete it. Aiming for two likes on the video and uh, you could subscribe as well while you're doing that. Thank you. I will see you soon.